What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for the 2006 YZ250 build that I have going on right now. Uh, so today I'm super excited because I'm going to start powder coating some of these parts here. Um, hopefully get some amazing transformations on these parts and get them looking awesome. So obviously I'm going to be doing uh, wheel hubs here. I'm not going to be doing the wheels, but I will have to tear everything down to get to these aftermarket hubs and get these coated. I'm going to be doing the shock spring here. I'm going to have to take that off of the shock body but that's pretty easy to do. And then there was some debate whether I should do the frame. A lot of you guys said yes, a lot of you guys said no. I ended up deciding to powder coat it. I'll share with you guys why later on, but if you guys left a comment on YouTube or DM me on Instagram, uh, I really appreciate that. A lot of you guys pitched in and I really appreciate all of your advice, but I did decide to powder coat it, so I will go into that later on in the video. But anyways, guys, we got some awesome colors that I'm super excited to share with you today. And there is a ton of stuff to do, so I'm going to go ahead and get to work. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and start here tearing down the front wheel. All right guys, and now that I've finished tearing down the wheel hubs all the way, I can take the spring off of the shock body here and then I'll put these parts in the parts washer and get them all clean before blasting. Alright, and since the frame has a lot of important threads on it, I'm going to go ahead and mask and plug those off before blasting just to make my life easier and not get a ton of sand in the threads.
Alright guys, well now that all the parts have been blasted and every part except for the frame has been gassed out, I'm going to go ahead and rub down all the parts with some Eastwood pre-painting prep to get that final grime off. Alright guys, well we got the frame all ready and prepped to get powder coated, but obviously it's not going to fit in this oven here to cure, uh, so I'm going to have to run it to a local powder coating shop. Alright guys, and the powder coating company I decided to go with on this frame was Powder Vision Inc. out of Washington State. Uh, they have done motorcycle parts before and they were really set up to do this frame, but I haven't worked with them, so I kind of want to get the frame back before I recommend them to you guys. Uh, but they were nice enough to show me around the shop. And they have a super nice uh, degreaser tank here for the parts. And then we'll come over and they're actually using a shipping container to sandblast, you know, bigger chassis and stuff and some bigger parts. And then over here they have a super big oven and then a really large powder coating booth. Okay guys, I just got back from Powder Vision Inc. And on the way back, I just stopped by the store to pick up a second oven. Uh, this will just make things a lot easier when I'm powder coating because instead of only being able to do one to two parts at a time, I can now do three to four, so hopefully I'll be able to get all these parts done in one batch. But anyways guys, I don't have time to get powder coating today, but all these parts are ready to go, so we'll get them all coated in the morning. Alright guys, what's going on? It's the next day, so we're ready to get started on powder coating. And if you look here, I'll show you the colors I went ahead and picked up. Uh, so right here I have a super chrome base coat and that's really similar to what I did on the CR125 which is just a shiny chrome uh, that'll go under another top coat here and the top coat I went ahead and picked is a anodized blue. Uh, it kind of looks almost matte in the just the powder form but after it cures it should have a really nice shiny look to it and match really well. It should be similar to Yamaha blue so super excited to see how these come out. So if you guys are interested in checking out where I get my powders from, I have it linked down below in the description. The company is called Prismatic Powders and they do really make the best powders I have used. They lay down super smooth on the part and have a super good look to them. And also their website is super intuitive. So if you guys go out to their website and just go to the gallery and pick a color, say you're wanting a red, but you're not sure what kind of red, they'll have a gallery of all these different customer photos of all the different reds on there and you can kind of pick which one will look best on your project so super great website i'll have it linked down below if you want to check it out but anyways guys that's enough talking i want to go ahead and see how beautiful these parts are going to come out so let's go ahead and get back to work all right guys i'm going to go ahead and turn the oven on to about 130 degrees i'm just doing this so the powder will lay on the part a little bit easier i'm not actually going to let the part get to 130 probably around 100 but if you guys want a more detailed video on powder coating, I do have one that I'll link at the end of this video. This video, I'm really just gonna kinda go over the basic stuff, but if you guys are interested in trying this stuff, I do have a super detailed video on it that you guys can check out.
you guys are interested in what kind of powder coating gun I'm using, it's an Eastwood dual voltage gun. I'll have it linked down in the description next to the powders that I showed you guys earlier on in the video. Definitely check it out because it works great for powder coating at home. Okay guys, so these parts came out so awesome. I'm super happy with them. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments about this color. I'm really happy with it. I think it's like a deep blue, like Yamaha blue. Uh, it does have a little bit of a kind of lighter blue hint to it, but it is still have that beautiful dark blue to it. So definitely happy with how these came out. Uh, if you guys are interested in getting results like these at home, definitely check out Eastwood uh, for your powder coating supplies and then uh, Prismatic Powders for the powders because these parts came out super slick. I'll have all their links down below in the description, uh, but you can definitely get professional results at home for a really good price with those companies. As far as the frame goes, I'm super excited to show you guys what color I went with on the frame. Uh, if you guys want to check out the next video, I should be Cerakoting some parts, so definitely stay tuned for that, and I probably will be revealing the frame in that video since I'll be getting the frame back in the next couple days. Alright guys, well thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Also, if you guys are interested in continuing watching the channel, make sure your post notifications are on. And if you guys want to be updated about the build throughout the week, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'll probably post a picture of the frame on there as well. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.